Thank you very much. The clerk will call the roll. Wagner. Here. Davis. Here. Ford. Here. Johnson. Curls. Present. Reed. Present. Glover. Present. Marcuson. Present. Serco. Present. Brooks. Here. Taylor. Sharp. Here. James. Eleven eyes. <coughs> the clerk call the special actions. Uh, 121060, honoring Victor Ross and Company Real Estate and celebrating 60 years in business for the, in the Northeast area. Victor Cassio and others are present to receive the special action. Councilman Wagner. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. It is uh, a great we're, honor we're, and privilege. We want to wait till I'm sorry. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty long winded by the time I'm done, they probably make it. Mm -hmm. But I can wait. Of you. Councilman Wagner. Thank you, Madam Mayor. It is uh, a pleasure, although somewhat of a bittersweet one, to uh, recognize uh, Ross and, and, and Vic uh, in this way. Um, you know, it's, it, I don't know where really to start. I guess I'll start in the Northeast area where Ross was such a, a, a leader uh, for that area in so many ways uh, and a businessman. Uh, leading in so many ways. Um, for those who uh, grew up in the area, they we won't forget Cascio's Corner or the ice cream that they used to get there. Um, in fact, uh, every week in the Northeast News, that sign would always be in their ad. Uh, and you got it, right? Oh, you got a picture of it. Um, and so in the Northeast area, it was so important for me personally, um, when growing up in Gladstone, uh, Victor Ross and Company was always known to me because I think on every street corner, uh, on a commercial business note, there would be their sign. And uh, I first got to know the family uh, with, with Vic back uh, when we were both at uh, St. Andrew's Church in Gladstone. And so to then move later into the Northeast area and get to know the rest of the family uh, was such a great thing for me. But, but uh, I'll, I'll skip the rest of the visit down memory lane, but I'll just say that um, Ross and Victor Ross and Company were so synonymous, such a great part of the Northeast and the Northland. And, and although they have been kind of absorbed, if you will, into Zimmer and Company, and so Vic isn't going anywhere anytime soon, um, he'll still be around and being a part of those communities. But I just want to thank you, Ross, for being a part of the Northeast, of the Northland, and just being, at least in some small way, a part of my life growing up uh, and being a part of my leadership in the Northeast before coming here. And so thank you for everything you've done. Um, enjoy retirement, although I'm not sure how you're going to handle that. Uh, so good luck figuring that out. But thank you for what you have done uh, and what you will continue to do. Clarine, thank you for what you have done. Victor, you're going to keep moving along. Um, and there you go. <laughs> and you still 63. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, For 60 years, I was tired. Now I'm retired. <laughs> well, good luck with that retirement. Thank you for everything you've done, and I'm so glad we can recognize you this way. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Well, and, and it is a great honor for me to stand in as, as the mayor today to uh, give you this honor. Um, my, my, both of my son's great aunts served in your office for many years, so it, it is a, a hometown connection. Uh, anybody that has any connection to Northeast or Independence Avenue definitely knows that the work you did in the community, um, not only with your business, but um, making sure that the community kept moving forward. And at some times when no one else had any faith in Northeast, you were, you were always there. So we all appreciate that and understand the work that you've done. So it is a great honor and a joy for me to um, present this honor to you. All in favor um, of the... Madam Chair. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just wanted to add my voice. 
Ross, we've been friends for so long, and uh, working in Kansas City with you and your entire family, uh, Victor, has been a pleasure. Um, your contributions to the Northeast are a legend, but we, we've got to also emphasize that you were always there for the rest of Kansas City, too. And uh, the manner in which you go about contributing to this city has just been superb for all your family. So thank you. The resolution is before the council. All in favor say aye. 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 The, the, all opposed? Hearing none, the resolution is passed. We certainly would love a few words from you. You want to talk? <laughs> Come on, to okay. Talk. First of all, I want to thank the mayor and all the council members for this honor. Uh, my father is humbled by this experience, and he's always been one that has always been in the background. Uh, the limelight is not what he's about, but I want to thank you on behalf of my entire family for the support you've given us, and I can never remember a time we've come before this council with something that we were working towards that we didn't get accomplished. Uh, a lot of hard work by the council, and that goes uh, without saying. Um, one thing I would like to, uh, on behalf of my dad, say is that while we accept this with great honor, there are other Ross Cashews in this city that live in their neighborhoods and in their communities. And we would like to charge the council with going out and finding those people and presenting them with the same honors that you've bestowed on my dad today. It's people like that in their communities and in their pockets of, of living that make this city what it is today. And the more of those that you guys can get, the better off the city's going to be. With that, I thank you. And on behalf of my family, we thank you. End of an era, huh? Hi. How are you doing? Hi, thanks for coming down. You said 63 years. 63 years. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming down. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I'm their daughter. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Congratulations and thank you. 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 Good to see you. Tell Fred. Thank you very much. Tell him the cash. I serve you. Good to see 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 you. Accepting and releasing various easement and deeds in Kansas City, Clay County, Missouri, and requesting that the city manager approve the acceptance and release. Received and filed. 130006. Accepting various easements and deeds in Kansas City, Jackson County, Missouri, and requesting that the city manager approve the acceptance. Received and filed. 130007. Accepting various easement and deeds in Kansas City, Clay County, Missouri, and requesting that the city manager approve the acceptance. Received and filed. 130009. 
Notice from the Planning Industrial Expansion Authority of Kansas City, Missouri to the Mayor and Council regarding the notice of intent to accept the redevelopment contract proposal submitted by 1102 Grand Boulevard, LLC for 1102 Grand Boulevard project in the downtown Loop PIEA area in the 4th Council District. Received and filed. 130023, accepting various easements and deeds in Jackson County, Missouri and directing the City Clerk to record the acceptance. Received and filed. Will the clerk proceed with the third reading of debate docket? 121043, called in an election on April 2nd, 2013, for the purpose of asking voters to remove all existing exemptions from the existing hotel, motel, convention, and tourism tax, except for the exemption of the United States government and its agencies under federal law, in order to provide additional funds for the promotion of con convention and tourism business for the city, directing the city clerk to provide notice of the election, directing the city clerk to notify the Missouri Director of Revenue if the proposal is pro approved by the voters, amending section 68, 564. For code of ordinances to eliminate the exemptions of previously exempt groups and recognizing an emergency. Finance Committee recommends you pass. Councilwoman Marcuson. Thank you. I move that the committee substitute for ordinance number 121043 be amended so that it reads us in the document entitled Committee Substitute for Ordinance Number 121043 as amended, which has been distributed to all council members. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the committee substitute for ordinance number 121043 be amended. Is there any discussion on the motion? Yes, uh, this is a, a small amendment we talked about in business session. Uh, so it will make it clear to the voters in the ballot language that the money raised by eliminating the exemptions to the convention and, vis and tourism tax used for convention and entertainment facilities will only be used for city-owned facilities. It just inc includes the word city-owned. And the title is also amended to mirror the specific language of the ballot language. Is there any further discussion? The clerk will call the roll on the motion to amend. Wagner? Aye. Davis? Aye. Ford? Aye. Johnson? Curl? Aye. Reed? Aye. Glover? Aye. Marcuson? Aye. Circle? Aye. Brooks? Aye. Taylor? Aye. Sharp? Aye. James? Aye. Nice. The motion is passed. The ordinance as amended is now before the council. Is there any discussion on the ordinance as amended? Yes, this is, uh, we, we've talked about this in, in council and in finance committee and in business session today. This will allow the voters the opportunity to uh, eliminate uh, a discrepancy in these convention and tourism collections, to eliminate uh, the exemption that has been in place only in Kansas City. So it will level the playing field and eliminate uh, uh, an exemption for nonprofit groups that come to our city, use our facilities, and give them the opportunity to contribute to the maintenance of our convention, city owned convention and entertainment facilities, uh, the marketing of our beautiful city, and the neighborhood and tourism development fund that promotes neighborhoods across Kansas City to people in the metro area and from outside. So uh, it's, a, it's a very important fund for the city to promote um, our beautiful area, and uh, this will just eliminate uh, an exemption that has only been uh, collected, or uh, not collected, in Kansas City. So we will go on the ballot in April if we pass this. Councilman Sharp. Thank you very much, uh, Madam uh, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, I just wanted to speak briefly to this issue as well. Uh, I think we all realize that this will provide additional funding uh, for maintaining and modernizing our, our convention, our public uh, convention and entertainment facilities, and will also provide additional money uh, to promote Kansas City as a tourist and convention uh, uh, site. And every time someone comes here as a tourist or, or to attend a convention, of course, they all spend money here. And the longer they're here, the, the more they spend. And that's just money added to our economy that otherwise we wouldn't have. But I would like to speak just, just a little bit more about the neighborhood tourism aspect of it. You know, uh, we have a citizens committee the neighborhood that deals with the neighborhood tourist development fund much like our, our PIAC committee, and, and these folks put in a, a lot of hours uh, every year on trying to sort out what uh, requests by our neighborhoods should be funded to, to bring in tourists to Kansas City and, and to our neighborhoods. But every year, there are s so many more requests than they can possibly fund, and this will provide some more funding for that. So all of our neighborhoods in Kansas City will have a better chance of being able to apply for and get these neighborhood tourism funds so, so they can promote things in their neighborhood to, 
to bring people from outside Kansas City into their neighborhoods. And I, I just know out in South Kansas City, uh, uh, one of the things, it's, it's not a big thing, but for South Suburban Junior Football, now when they have their football tournaments that bring in teams from, from all around the metro area, and, and uh, as you know, uh, uh, Madam Mayor, uh, when uh, kids are playing in sports, they tend to bring along the parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles, and they all spend a little money uh, when they're here. So uh, this will be a great thing for all our neighborhoods, and it just puts us uh, on a level playing field with all the other cities in the state. So I, I do hope it passes unanimously today, and I hope the voters uh, overwhelmingly approve it too. Thank you. Thank you. Councilwoman Marcus. And again, the, the uh, exemption that it, that it will uh, remedy is that collected on bed nights of visitors coming in from out of town using uh, in our convention uh, area. So it is uh, folks coming in uh, the, who are in part of a nonprofit convention. And the Convention and Visitors Association has done a good job of reaching out to those uh, convention uh, promoters. And this is not the deciding factor. They come to Kansas City because it's a good place to have conventions. I think we've been very successful in the nonprofit market, and it is because we, we do have a competitive price structure, but we also have a very friendly city. We have a safe city. We have a clean city, and it's, a, it's the type of city that um, a lot of uh, religious and nonprofit groups enjoy coming to, and uh, our competitive advantage is our uh, beautiful area and our friendly population. I think we heard that a lot during, especially when the NAACP came to town. That was just, uh, all we heard about was this is the friendliest place to do business. It's easy to get around. It's safe. We feel safe walking around. So we have a lot of competitive advantages and we have made sure that this doesn't take one away. It just uh, will allow us to better market our facilities better promote our neighborhoods and make sure that our convention facilities are um, the level that we all expect. Thank you. Seeing no further discussion, will the clerk call the roll on the ordinance as amended? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven eight. Ayes. Sorry. <laughs> the ordinance is passed. <laughs> yeah, I... Let me get to the right. Will the clerk proceed with the advanced consent docket? Oh. Councilwoman Marcus. Well, before I do that, I would the like docket to, so short. I, I would like to request that the clerk receive docket and read a resolution prepared too late to be on today's docket. The clerk will receive an ordinance. Uh, was a resolution? The prior the, re the resolution, yes. The clerk will receive the resolution, assign a number, and read the title. That resolution number is going to be 130025, adopting the city's strategic plan of council priorities and performance indicators. I move for immediate adoption of this resolution. It has been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Is there any discussion? Councilwoman Markison. This is um, a, really a milestone in Kansas City. Uh, we have set some lofty priorities for our city. The council met before we were ever um, sworn in and set some, did a, a strategy session, strategic priorities, a vision for the city, and we are now institutionalizing our priorities and aligning our priorities with performance measurements and our budget. And it's going to be a continuous cycle of setting priorities, measuring our success, or if we don't achieve some of our priorities, how can we realign them or provide the necessary resources to be successful. So I think this is a very, very uh, important step in Kansas City's govern governance in our effort to make Kansas City best. And uh, I'm proud that this council has taken this step and uh, I'm very proud of the city manager's office, the, the personnel, Kate Bender, Julie Steenson, and, and Catherine Carter, uh, for leading that, for the mayor's staff, and the city council all working together and ex deciding that this is the way that we do business in Kansas City. We're very deliberate about what we are, where we're going. We are telling our citizens to help us 
We're listening to them to um, help us set our priorities. We're making sure we are doing what we say we're going to do, and we'll put the necessary resources behind those. So I am very, very proud of our city. We're getting a lot of national attention for this, but that's not why we did it. We did it because it's a good way to govern, and um, I'm very proud that we are um, hopefully adopting this today in time to really be uh, a part of our budget process. So that's why it is uh, kind of um, adopted by on the floor so we're beginning our budget process right now so appreciate all the hard work that has gone into this is there any further discussion if there's no further discussion will the clerk call the roll wagner aye. davis aye. ford aye. johnson curls aye reed aye glover aye marcus aye sarko aye brooks aye taylor aye sharp aye james have a nice the resolution is passed Councilwoman Markison. Now, Honorable Mayor, I move that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as scheduled committee advances, and that these ordinances be advanced for final reading and consideration at this time. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the charter requirements for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived, and that the ordinance on today's docket listed as scheduled committee advances be advanced for final reading and consideration at this time. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk call the roll on the motion? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markison. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Have a nice. Will the clerk uh, proceed with the advanced consent docket? 121032, authorizing acceptance of $117,250 grant with the Missouri Department of Transportation, estimating revenue in that amount, appropriating that amount to the Share Road Safety Education Account in the Capital Improvements Fund and designated requisitioning authority. Transportation <coughs> Committee recommends to pass. Will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven eyes. The ordinance is passed. Um, who is? I can do it again. Okay. Okay. Council Honorable Board. Mayor, I move that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for ordinances on today's docket listed as second readings. Except for, wait a minute, we're doing, we Where skipped over. We needed to do, uh, we didn't do the base. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Advance. Okay. Okay. One two one zero three three increase in appropriations in the amount of six hundred fifty thousand in the Healthy Homes and Lead Hazard Control Grant account for the purpose of providing additional funding for needed and sub recipient rewards to the Healthy Homes Program and recognizing an emergency. Neighborhood Committee recommends do pass. Councilwoman Carls. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, Neighborhoods and Healthy Communities Committee has reviewed this ordinance and recommends do pass. This is focusing mostly on our youth six and under who are. Uh, affected by by lead poisoning in our homes. Is there any further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven eyes. Ordinance is passed. 121062, authorizing acceptance of a $50,000 grant with the Health Care Foundation of Greater Kansas City, estimated revenue in that amount, appropriating it to the active living KC account in the Capital Improvements Fund and designated requisition and authority. Neighborhood Committee recommends you pass. Councilwoman Carls. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. This is uh, mainly with the Hickman Mills School District. Uh, we were told that if there is additional funding, they might expand this. Uh, Neighborhoods and Healthy Communities has reviewed this ordinance and recommends to pass. Any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markison. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven eyes. Ordinance is passed. 121065, accepting or approving a $57,000 contract amendment with the Kansas City Free Health Clinic to provide HIV testing and referral services in Kansas City area and declaring an emergency. Neighborhood Committee recommends to pass. Councilwoman Coles. Thank you, Madam Mayor. This ordinance deals with several counties, not just Kansas City or Jackson County. And uh, Neighborhoods and Healthy Communities has reviewed this ordinance and recommends to pass. Is there any further discussion? 
Seeing none, will the court call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curl. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markison. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven ayes. The ordinance is passed. One two one zero seven three, authorizing Director of Neighborhood and Housing Services to amend and extend a contract with True Medical Center to provide mental health services to inmates participating in the Bridges Program. Neighborhood Committee recommends you pass. Councilwoman Curls. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Neighborhoods and Healthy Communities Committee review this ordinance and recommends to pass. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven ayes. Ordinance is passed. 121048, resulting in an area of approximately 25 acres drained located at 2400 to 2408 Blue Ridge Boulevard from District M1 through 5 to District 75 to District M35. Plain Zoning Committee recommends you pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, this uh, ordinance uh, rezones an area for the expansion of the Junk Salvage Yard and General Recycling Service. Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee has reviewed it and recommends due pass. Councilman Wagner. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, during the discussion of this particular ordinance, uh, there were some questions or questions that I asked pertaining to whether or not uh, the applicant had reached out to regulated industries uh, as they uh, regulate the uh, scrap metal recycling industry here in Kansas City. Um, they had not at that point, and it was, I have to admit as an editorial, it was somewhat disappointing that our staff did not uh, ask the applicant to reach out to regulated industries. Um, but as I had asked them to do so before coming here today, I just wanted to report that they have. Um, I saw the applicant here in our audience today, uh, Mr. Sneed, and I just want to express my appreciation uh, both to him uh, and, uh, and, and his attorney that they did uh, have a conversation with them. I think uh, everyone is in agreement with uh, what the business needs to do as it gets start, started and move for, moving forward. Uh, so I just wanted to say that that had been done and express my appreciation uh, that it had been done. Thank you, Madam Right. Mayor. And we're excited to have a business expanding in Kansas City. Thank you for your investment. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. The Aye. ordinance is passed. I'm sorry. <laughs> the ordinance is passed. Zero two one. I'm sorry, 121050, rezoning an area of approximately 1 point, uh, 0 0.1 acres located at 426 West Fifth Street from District M35 to District M15. Plain Zoning Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Madam Mayor. This allows for residential uses in an existing structure. Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee has reviewed this ordinance, recommends to pass. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Eleven ayes. The ordinance is passed. One two one zero six four. Estimated <coughs> revenue in the amount of twenty nine thousand seven hundred twenty six dollars in the special business district fund, appropriating that amount in an unappropriated fund balance to the Union Hill Special District Fund and designated requisition and authority. Plain zoning committee recommends you pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, Madam Mayor, this is one of two special business districts we have in the city in which we collect the revenues and turn it back over to the uh, uh, business district. Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee has reviewed it, recommends due pass. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Have a nice. The ordinance passes. One two one zero six three, authorizing condemnation, taking private property in simple in fee simple for project number eight nine zero zero two six seven two in Swole Park Industrial Area Flood Damage Reduction Project, located within the area bounded by Seventy Fifth Street Terrace on the north, Seventy Seventh Street on the south, and Union Pacific Railroad on the west, and Blue River Road on the east, all in Kansas City, Jackson County, Missouri, providing for payment of just compensation. Therefore, authorizing to continue negotiations and purchase by the Water Service Department, authorizing filing of the petition for condemnation by the City attorney on behalf of the city and directing the city clerk to record this ordinance in the office of recorder deeds of Jackson County, Missouri. Transportation Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Davis. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, this condemnation is uh, to take the land uh, 
in a railroad right away. Uh, this is not owned by the railroad. It's owned by the adjoining property owners or the adjoining property owners that were there when this was first acquired, <coughs> which means they'll be very difficult to find out who they are. So we have to use condemnation as a means of acquiring it. To our knowledge, there's nobody that opposes the effort. Uh, Transportation Infrastructure Committee recommends do pass. Is there any further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Lover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Eleven ayes. Ordinance passes. One two one zero seven eight authorizing city manager's office to execute a contract with the Mid America Regional Council for fund to fund for additional planning and coordination services in the Green Impact Zone in an amount not to exceed five hundred and fifty thousand adjusted appropriations in the Motor Fuel Tax Fund, General Fund, and the Capital Improvement Sales Tax Fund. Transportation Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Davis. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, this. Uh, ordinance would be the last appropriation that we would make to the Green Impact Zone. Uh, it uh, is an important one. It means that we will have contributed $3 million uh, to the project. That project has generated $178 million in additional investment uh, in federal funds, grants, other investments. Uh, uh, so I, I think as we approve this ordinance, we should look back and say, uh, collectively, this has been a remarkable success in terms of improving conditions in the urban core. Transportation and Infrastructure <laughs> Committee recommends uh, do pass. Councilman Reed. Thank you. Substitute. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I would like to uh, add my voice as it relates to this uh, ordinance. Uh, these funds uh, come directly from, well, half of the funds, which is 275, comes from the third district contingency and the other half from the citywide PIAC, uh, which go into uh, the a motor fuel uh, tax that basically pays for this last of additional funding for the green impact zone. And I want to point out we had a lengthy discussion today uh, in our transportation committee uh, meeting this morning, but there have been a lot of impacts. As Councilman Davis has just alluded to, the $178 million to date in benefiting the zone and also the entire city. But there have been some uh, impacts that have happened directly in, in the zone that uh, I would like to just uh, recite from uh, the Bencroft School redevelopment to the Ivanhoe 39th Street corridor development, the purpose built communities, to the 5008 Prospect Skills Center, uh, the Blue Hill CDC, Graceland School Community Center, uh, the Gates Redevelopment Initiative, the Truce. Uh, businesses on, uh, business owners uh, have, have started working together, uh, the neighborhood housing services, employment and training, uh, all of these impacts have been uh, happening in the zone and as they move forward there's so much more that will continue from this development that the city uh, started just three years ago with uh, the 5th District Council persons, uh, Councilwoman Serco and at the time Councilman Terry Riley who were very instrumental in the uh, a seed money, which was $1.5 million, and now that we've gotten to $3 million of our total overall operational um, expenses for the zone, as we move forward, there's so much more that uh, we will see, and they will seek out private uh, funds for operational expenses. However, they may be back for other funds if it's CD, um, CDBG dollars or our NTDF dollars or other things to help fund programs uh, within the zone and other development. So um, uh, many of you all have signed up to be uh, sponsors for this and to my other colleagues, I hope that you would support this uh, as well. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Lover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Eleven ayes. Ordinance is passed. Councilman Ford. Honorable Madam Mayor, I move that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be weighed for ordinances on today's docket listed as second reading and that they be placed on the docket next week for third reading. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the charter requirements for reading of ordinances on three separate days be weighed for the ordinances on today's docket listed as second readings and that they be placed on the docket next week for third reading. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk call the roll on the motion? 
Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven ayes. Councilman Ford. Adam Mayor. I move that the charter requirement for reading ordinances on three separate days be weighed for the ordinances on today's docket listed as first readings, and that these ordinances be introduced as listed to the committee so designated. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the charter requirements for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as first readings, and that these ordinances be introduced as listed to the committee so designated. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Seven ayes. The motion passes. Councilwoman Marcuson. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. I request that the clerk receive docket and read an ordinance prepared too late to be on today's docket. And I have two of them. <laughs> The clerk will receive an ordinance and assign a number to the title. The first ordinance is 130026, appropriating 900000 from the unappropriated fund balance of the Public Mass Transportation Fund, designating requisition authority and recognizing an emergency. Referred to Finance, Governance, and Ethics Committee. Councilwoman Marcuson. Thank you. I request that the clerk receive docket and read an ordinance prepared too late to be on today's docket. The clerk will receive the ordinance and assign a number and read the title. That second ordinance is 130027, authorizing contract with Trans System Corporations in the amount of 900000 for the Greater Downtown Traffic Simulation Model Project and recognizing an emergency. Referred to Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Is there anything more to come before the body? Seeing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So move. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.